OKC Thunder. Uh, Casey, before the game, Mark said that the game plan was really similar to most nights, like protect the rim first and then fire out. What did you think of the way that you guys were able to make sure that they didn't get a lot of easy stuff down low? Um, I feel like we guarded on the perimeter, you know, very well. You know, Lou, he stepped up and, uh, well, not stepped up. He did what he usually do, <laughs> um, guarded one of their main guys and, you know, made it tough for him all night. So I feel like that started it. You, you seem to kind of just have eyes in the back of your head on the perimeter in terms of being able to just keep those hands in the passing lanes, know when those passes are coming. Uh, how much of that is instinct versus like studying and knowing what what teams are going to do? Um, just knowing that I'm guarding one of the main guys, you know, they're trying to get the ball in his hands. So me knowing that and, you know, trusting my instincts as well, you just shooting the passing lane, knowing that they're going to pass it to him. So and I wanted to ask you about Chet. Um, it's a big time assignment for him tonight, and he did more than than hold his own uh, physically with tenacity. What did you see from him? Um, Chet played to the level that we knew he could. You know, he blocked shots, get rebounds, play tough, you know, make it hard for everybody on the court to um, score in the paint. So I feel like he stepped up to the challenge as always. Uh, Coach gave you guys a lot of credit for manufacturing points tonight against their defense. What what kind of went into making sure that you guys were able to generate good looks and, and make sure that you were able to generate points throughout the night? Um, just making sure that we're moving, you know, cutting the wings and you know, spacing in the corners for open shots, um, driving and knowing that you have a kick out. How much have you guys had to kind of learn different ways to, to win games throughout the season? I mean, you come off a Spurs game where you put up 140 points, and then tonight, a low scoring game, but you kind of had to figure out a way to win this one tonight. Um, just digging to the game, the game plan, and, you know, it was a, um, a physical game tonight. So just playing through that without, you know, getting as many calls as usual, just sticking together and keep playing. Okay, so we, we talked about Chet and how he held his own against Jonas, and it felt like early in the year we were talking about, you know, some of those heavier, I mean, everybody who, who Chet has to guard is usually heavier, but earlier in the year it felt like we were talking about, you know, five-man defenses and trying to um, do some of the things that Chet couldn't do on his own, and I, it, it feels like today was one of those days where even in the windows, Chet wasn't doing one-on-one -on -one stuff that you guys were, you know, timing rebounds, just bring some of the help. Just what you see there and what have you seen as the season's gone along in terms of progressing and, and helping Chet with some of those assignments? Uh, like you said, he always has a tough matchup. So just knowing that we, it's a team game and, you know, we're trying to, you know, ease the load off of him a little bit. So just trapping, you know, squeezing the ball and, you know, firing out when we should. Coach mentioned your aggression on offense and kind of how you've grown in confidence, whether it's self-creation or just, uh, you know, shooting without hesitating this year. Where has that confidence come from and how has it, you know, come so far in, in such a short span of time? Just knowing all the work that I put in, you know, just my teammates trusting in me, them telling me to keep shooting the ball, keep making plays. So they're, um, they're encouraging me to do more as well. Ready now. Nick Gallo, Kissy, Thunder. Uh, Chet, defensively, Mark came into the game saying, you know, protecting the paint, protecting the rim, top priority like it is normally, and then spray out. What would you think of the execution of that to hold them to so, to so few points? Um, I think we did a really good job as a team. Uh, you know, I don't think there was too many missed assignments. Uh, we were all really keyed in on that end, uh, you know, helping the help guy, uh, especially when I had to go um, and help on drives. Uh, there were a lot of sink downs. Um, taking away that, that dunker pass, and uh, we had active hands on those skips, stole a few of those. Um, overall, just a, a great team effort and, and uh, kind of focus on that end. Jalen, what would you think of the way Chet handled the Valanciunas matchup and really um, you know, held his own in some? Um, nice. Uh, he did a good job. Um, I think when you're as competitive as he is, like you're not really going to let somebody get the best of you the whole night. So he did a really good job from start to finish, uh, just accepting the physicality of being physical back. Uh, you know, he also put him in a lot of rotations offensively, uh, going to him as well. So, you know, whenever you have to worry about somebody offensively too, you know, it takes away from when you want to go on offense because you got to guard them as well. So he did a good job uh, being just as physical and kind of matching that and then going back at him offensively. So. Offensively, for you guys, it can sometimes 
you know, for any team, you start off slow, you're not making shots, and that can you know, get you in a rut. You guys really opened things up offensively as the game went along. What helped you do that? Sharing the ball. That's my answer. There you go. Yeah, I think it was sharing the ball, but I think it really started on defense. Um, you know, when shots aren't falling early, you can kind of just get frustrated, I guess, and let that you know seep into the other end of the floor, and we didn't do that. And once we got our defense established and going, which I feel like we did very early on in the game, uh, you know, it, it, it made the offensive end easier for us, got us some easier looks, especially in transition. Um, and, and that's big for us. Uh, you know, it kind of gets the energy flowing and helps us make some shots, uh, which we did down the stretch. Um, so yeah, I started on defense. Just kind of piggybacking off that, and this is for either one of you who wants to answer, but coming off of last night's game, or the last game in San Antonio, you guys put up a season high 140 points. Tonight, it's a, it's a defensive battle. And you guys seem throughout the season just to be able to learn different ways to, to win games. Just what's gone into that and how important is kind of that skill in the NBA? Oh, uh, it's extremely important. You know, no two games are going to be the same. And, uh, you know, if you're doing something well, teams are going to try and take that away. So you have to be able to adjust in real time in games, uh, from game to game, week to week. Uh, you got to be able to learn from kind of the flow of things. Uh, how are the teams regarding us? Uh, what's working for us? Um, and, and you got to find a balance between sticking with what's working and uh, adjusting to what they're trying to take away. Deb, just just a quick follow up. I mean, it's your second season. How do how do you feel like you guys have grown kind of in that area over over the course of time here? Deb doesn't miss going away. I think we're just doing a good job. Like we just have more games under our belt with each other. You know, for the most part, it's the almost the exact same group. So um, yeah, we just have a lot more reps. Uh, guys know kind of what's expected of them every game. Um, and I think there's just a little more trust everywhere across across the board. So guys are kind of willing to sacrifice, you know, stuff for the, the good of the team. And I think everybody knows that their number can be called any any night. So I think when you add a mixture of that and guys, you know, enjoy being around each other and playing with each other, I think there's a lot of, a lot of good that can come from that. And, you know, we're getting more and more comfortable being in these situations with each other. And, you know, now that we're like 40 something games in and we've been through a lot of adversity throughout the year, we kind of know what we can fall back on when adversity does hit. And Doug, we, we, we talked about the just how Chet held his own tonight against Jonas and, and pretty much every matchup he's going to have is, you know, a guy probably heavier. And we talked all year about just um, not just the one on one stuff, but the five man defense and what it takes in the windows where he can't do everything himself. I just wonder the progression you've seen in terms of um, not just tonight, but as the year's going on, you know, the windows where Chet can't do everything himself and you have to, you know, time rebounds around him or, you know, bring that low help, stuff like that. Um, it's not really, you know, an adjustment to that. He does a lot defensively to where, like, there's, there's, we haven't had, we don't have matchups where, you know, we're trying to hide him or, you know, keep him out of certain situations because he's versatile throughout but the whole I, entire time. I just mean, like, when he's out of a play already, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. We talk about stuff like that. He goes and tries to block a lot of shots. Obviously, that's the rim protection that we were looking for last year. So we, we understand that we got to go in there and gang rebound. Uh, like he was talking about when, when he goes to challenge a shot, hitting the next guy that's trying to crash. Um, so this stuff we understand game plan wise. This stuff, um, I wouldn't even say that changes game to game. That's just uh, being competitive and understanding what it takes to win. It's part of our defensive scheme, too. You know, there's a lot of shots that. There's not a lot of shots that he can't affect or block, so we understand that. So when he does go up, it's kind of like unsaid communication to kind of go in there and help him out. Yeah, and, and the way they tried to shrink the middle of the floor, specifically um, in defending Shea, it, it took him some time to kind of calibrate that and adjust to that. But it felt like, you know, to start the second, to start the fourth, you guys came in and had that instant punch. Just what did you see that helped you at attack those minutes? Well, Mark kills us when we lose those minutes, so there's a little extra juice to win those minutes. Credit to this guy uh, for running the show um, uh, in those minutes, um, especially when Shea's out. Uh, you know, he does a good job of facilitating and, and keeping us steady. So, yeah, and, and obviously, you guys saw, everybody saw Shea uh, being named the all-star starter. I just wonder your general thoughts on that. And he, he was first in, in player votes, so I just wonder what you guys think that means. Well-deserved. Duh. Yeah. Next. <laughs> yeah, uh, obvious that it was going to happen, uh, and 
he's very deserving, and uh, I'm sure it's not going to be the last time that it happens. Uh, that's all I got. That was my answer. And it's good to see that uh, people around the league, other than us as players, are uh, respecting it too. Um, because it's pretty undeniable what he does every single night. Um, I'm sure there's people on every team voting for him because, uh, you know, there's there's not a night where it's like he wasn't an all-star tonight. Um, you know, he brings it every night, and uh, that's huge for us, and he's going to continue to do that for a long time. We were just in here talking about just the way New Orleans uh, tried to shrink the floor early against you when you, when you drove. Um, obviously led to a, like a slower start relative to, to what you've seen, but by the end of the game, you – Calibrate, you have 30 plus, uh, pretty normal night. Just what did you see as the game went on that, that helped you adjust? Um, we just, uh, we, we know, obviously, we've seen them quite a bit this past year and a half. Um, we know how they want to kind of play against us on both ends of the floor. Um, and we just tried to attack it in the right way. Uh, they're a team that obviously loads a lot. Um, has good defenders, dynamic defenders, and they uh, are pretty tough to score on. Uh, but there's certain keys to attacking a team that with, with that kind of caliber of defense, um, and we got them into the game uh, for sure. Yeah, and I think the, the Minnesota game was within this past week, so that's, that makes two games in a week or so that you shoot under 40% and, and still pull out the win. I just wonder how... As time is going on, how comfortable you feel in games where um, you depend more so on the defensive end of the floor? Um, we we always try to do so. We always try to focus before the game, during the game, after the game on defense. Um, that's where we like to hang our hat, and that's what we, we focus on for the most part. Yeah, and, and I think you caught the end of that, but, but Dub and Chet were just talking about um, kind of how deserving you were the All-Star nod, I just wonder your thoughts on it and, and just uh, the players voting you first among the, the West backcourt, what that, what that means to you? Yeah, um, it's an honor. Uh, it's a blessing. Uh, obviously, there's so many talented um, players in the NBA, so many talented guards, um, especially in the West. There's, there's so many talented players. Um, and to be voted first by by my peers, people that do the same job as me every night. Um, it's a really good feeling. What did you make of the way that uh, Kaysen was so disruptive tonight? It just seemed like he was in every passing lane and um, got his hands on a lot of, a lot of deflections. Yeah, he was, um, he was himself. He, like you said, disruptive. Um, he has great dis defensive instincts, great hands. Um, he was all over the place. Loose balls, steals, rebounds. Um, he was huge in it. It was one thing for Chet to kind of hold his own and handle the defensive matchup with Valanciunas, but he really was able to, to take advantage of that on the other end as well. Uh, what would you think of just the, the energy and the physicality he exerted on both ends of the floor? Yeah, he brought it tonight. Um, obviously, Chet that's what was one of the knocks on him coming into the NBA. Um, but he's so tough. He's so mentally strong that uh, he fights all night and makes up for it. Um, and that's just who he is, who he's been all season. So no surprise to me. But Chet was obviously really good tonight, as usual. Do you, uh, when you come into this building, do you think about last season and how you guys got that first, I guess, significant big win here? Like, uh, and, and, and how has the franchise changed since that game? Um, no, I don't think about it at all. Uh, one of the things at the beginning of the season that we all said was like, nothing is given based on the past. Like we have to earn every win going forward. Um, so like last season has, I, I haven't thought about it at all. Obviously we did better than what was expected, but it's a new season, new game, new, new team. Um, and obviously we've grown a lot to answer your second question. Um, and, uh, I guess eight months or however many months it's been since that game, we've, uh, gotten a lot better. Um, just got to try to stay on that course um, and keep growing. Che, I just wanted to go back to the, the fact that this was such a defensive battle between both of these teams tonight. And Mark gave you guys a lot of credit for manufacturing points and just generating points throughout the night against their defense. What went into that for you guys? And just throughout the season, there have been games where you guys have had to kind of generate points when, when the shot wasn't falling. What, what goes into that for you guys? Um, just trying to play the right way. 
uh, and try to play to our strengths. Um, not try to do anything that we aren't comfortable doing, each and every guy out there, and then as well as the team. Um, when we trust those things and play together, usually things work yourself out. Mark, I, uh, I understand that Zion adds an element to their, their offense, but they shoot 39% from the field, 25% from three. Just what do you like about the way you guys contain them tonight? Yeah, I thought um, we did a great job defensively, obviously, and, and pretty consistent throughout the game. And I thought we set a really good tone of physicality early. Uh, both teams, it was a really physical game in the first quarter, first half. Uh, and we were able to sustain a really high level defensively tonight, really throughout. I, and there wasn't much that they got uh, that was easy. So a lot of credit to our guys. That's a hell of a physical output. Yeah, and the Minnesota game uh, recently was another game where you shot pretty poorly under 40% and you still managed to, to grind that game out. I just wonder how comfortable you are at this point now with with games like this where you have to depend almost solely on defense to, to get a win. Yeah, you know, I thought, um, like I said, the defense was, was there early and, and there throughout. Offensively, I thought we generated pretty good shots early. Um, and then in the second quarter, I thought we really manufactured offense. Like, we got a little tighter with our execution, continue to get good shots. I just thought it was a very intelligent uh, performance by the team offensively. And then, you know, we, we slowly broke through. A couple more shots went in. We were able to loosen them up a little bit. So I just thought um, our, our poise to stay with it, even when the shots weren't falling and we weren't really, you know, moving the scoreboard a ton, uh, was impressive. It didn't impact our attacks on offense, and it certainly didn't impact our intensity on defense. Right. And you mentioned generating better looks in the second quarter. And there was some of that in the fourth quarter. And obviously, the, the common denominator is, you know, those dub and, and chat lineups. Um, and it felt like New Orleans did about as well as anybody in terms of limiting Shea's line of sight. And in turn, dub and chat kind of ate off some of that. Just what do you like about the way they attacked those, those minutes and those lineups? Yeah, I just thought we were intelligent with our attacks throughout the night, you know. Uh, I thought we were against San Antonio, too. The difference was we were just able to gain a lot more of a rhythm in that game. Some of that was our shot making on that night and our shot making tonight. But again, I thought the sign of a mature, good team is the ability to sustain uh, intelligent offense and high, high level intensity on defense, regardless of the ball going in. And I thought we were that type of team tonight. Coach, at what point of the season did you say, you know what, this team could be pretty good? Um, I don't know. I mean, the games just keep rolling. You know, it's like you're just playing the game in front of you. We're just trying to. Uh, was it preseason even? I mean, last year at times, you know, there were, and even before that, there was an uncommon uh, consistency, you know, to the team, even in our, our losing seasons. Um, I thought there was an uncommon poise to the team last year with some of the games we were able to compete in, uh, win some of them. And so this year has felt like kind of a continuation of that and a, and a build on that. As we've continued to, you know, improve internally and continue to add, you know, good players to the roster. So uh, I'd zoom it out from there. But you know, pretty early on, you know, this team had kind of an uncommon way about it. And uh, your thoughts on uh, Shea getting uh, voted in? That's nothing to take lightly into the All Star. Yeah, I mean, there's certainly nothing to take lightly, and the season he's having is nothing to take lightly. I mean. Like I said, we're just playing the game in front of us, and the season just kind of punches you in the face. But when you zoom out and look at what he's done to this point in the year, there's a lot of season left, but it's impressive. And uh, the thing I always go back to, I mentioned many times this season, is he does it inside the team. And so uh, his success also impacts the whole and somehow creates space for other guys to elevate and other guys to improve and other guys to rock out a little bit. And I think you see that. Um, in the other players on the team and their improvement and the trajectory some of those guys are on and not just limited to like Dub, you know, like Chet, you know, like I'm talking Wiggins the way he's playing right now. And it really that's a credit to a player of his talent that he's able to balance high ambition and high production also with creating the level of space he does for the rest of the team. That's to me the most impressive thing about him. He's a great player. Mark, before the game, you talked about the rim being your top priority. And I wondered what you saw from Chet in terms of not just shot blocking, but just the physical presence uh, that he provided to help with that effort. Yeah, I mean, Valanchunas is a load. You know, that's, he's given up a lot of weight to that guy. You know, Valanchunas is really hard to move for anybody. And um, yeah, he really battled tonight, Chet did. I mean, just really battled. And then 
um, the guys did a good job of, of scrambling. We had a couple plays where we put him in a crowd. We kind of ripped the ball from him a couple times on rebounds and when he had the ball deep. Um, and when you do that, you know, you're able to use the dynamic element of Chet on the other end of the floor, and we were able to get to that a lot tonight. Chet had a very good offensive game. We did a hell of a job of leveraging his gravity. He made great reads, whether to shoot, drive. He stayed aggressive throughout the game with his jump shot. I thought uh, there was a lot to like about how he played offensively tonight, too. And then your other rookie, Kaysen, was just seemingly everywhere. And I know coming into the season, one of the things you guys talked about was just his awareness off ball. Uh, what, what is he doing so well on, on that aspect of the game, just in terms of being in passing lanes? Yeah, he's really, really anticipatory. He just gets, uh, he smells the play before it happens. He's really learning the pictures. Um, he's good on ball, he's good off ball, and offensively he's coming. You know, he's, he's finding a good balance. So he's always kind of shot the open ones. He did that from the beginning and shot them well, but he's starting to make more plays on the catch. He's starting to hit the gas a little bit more, finish a little bit more. S just sneakily becoming more dynamic offensively and growing there, which again, we really like him and how functional and easily playable he is, but we, we also understand that there's a lot more in there and we want to continue to cultivate that. Mark, you mentioned just how well you guys put uh, Jonas in a crowd and I think you know earlier in the season, we, we talked a lot about you know guys um, and the effort that surrounds Chet because it's not a one-on-one -on -one game, and um, a lot of those matchups, he's he's usually playing a guy that's heavier than him. And so I just wonder what you've seen through the progression of having to put guys like that in crowds, and how you've seen the guys around Chet kind of help him, you know, pitch into those matchups and stuff. Yeah, I mean we're learning. You know, Chet's learning. We're learning. Um, you know, we've we've done a pretty good job of that, I think, uh, in most of our games, uh, of recognizing what we need to do to neutralize the opponent's strengths. Uh, Valanciunas and his physicality around the basket certainly is something that we have to be, pay attention to against this team. Um, but, you know, the bigger and stronger, uh, you know, the other team's bigs are, the more uh, difficult it should be for them to guard us too. You know, so we just need to – it doesn't need to be perfect. There's a couple of plays where they punch it in there to him and he, he goes and scores at the basket. But uh, I thought we were able to leverage our advantages on offense too and, and put them – in dilemmas on that end of the floor, which is, is critical for us. It's a complete game. It's not just, you know, one end of the floor or the other.